Do you want to say hey, internet? Hey, internet! Wait, wait. I thought... <laughs> no, you can't okay, do it right, while right, I'm right, looking right, at right, you. All right. Hey, internet! And welcome to Vlogmas Day 23! This is Matt, my little brother. Today we're going to talk What's to you... It's 2023? Vlogmas 23? We've already gone over this. Have we? Okay. Yeah. So today we're going to talk with you guys a little bit about our family's Christmas traditions because we have like a lot of them. And we have some that we used to have that we don't have so much anymore. Mm -hmm. So I figured we could just like talk about the whole gamut of things because starting today on the 23rd is our first Christmas tradition. Yes. Which is progressive dinner. Lana mentioned progressive dinner on some of the videos that she was in and several of you guys have asked me what the heck is progressive dinner. And so with progressive dinner... What, Mom? Do you remember why it started? No. Yes. Do you want to come over here and tell them? We're going to tag out for a second, because Mom's going to tell you why it started. Uh, okay, uh, so uh, Abby's oldest brother, Luke, got married to Megan, who was a nurse in labor and delivery, and she was required to work every other Christmas Eve. And our whole family got together on Christmas Eve, but she would miss it. So she suggested that we start doing something on Christmas Eve Eve, because she could always be off on that night. And so that's how the progressive dinner started. So we're pretty sure it was Megan who came up with the idea to do it progressively. So what a progressive dinner is, is that you split a dinner up into multiple sections and do them at different houses. We have appetizers at the first house and the second house we do the main course. And then the third house we do desserts. But every house we go to, we open presents because people like to buy presents for people at Christmas time. It's like this weird thing. It's like that's like a tradition that's happened way longer than this. Dinner. Yeah. Way, way longer so, than we're going to Way, way longer than that. We rotate every year. Everyone does a different thing. So this year, we are doing appetizers mm -hmm. at this house, at yep. Mom's house. My oldest brother, Luke, and his wife, Megan, their family, we're going to their family for the main course. And then afterwards, we'll go to my middle brother, Josh, and Tiffany's house, and they're going to be doing uh, desserts. So, like Matt said, we'll do presents, we'll do the whole shebang. Uh, but there's... all of the presents that really matter are here at this house because Nana spoils the children, and that's where all the right. children get their presents. So, the, so the children It's going to be a, a fiasco of present opening, and we're going to have paper everywhere. And, yeah, they'll yeah. get to start with all of the presents. They'll get all their presents first. But it's cool, because when we go to the different houses, like, the kids will hand out the presents, and so mm -hmm. they know, like, they have their presents sitting there, and, like, they know that they're going to be giving them to us, and it's... And they can read now. Yes! And they know, and they know <laughs> <laughs> their names on the presents, so they're like, that one's mine! <laughs> yeah, like, when they were younger. So we actually started this before there were any kids, and so it's been cool to kind of, like, see them grow and, and grow through these things. So now they get to do that. We get to... Basically, they become the little elves that are, like, giving the presents out, and it's really cool, and it's cool for them to, like, get to experience experience the feeling of giving as well as receiving. I think that's pretty cool. The other thing that is my favorite thing about Progressive Dinner is that we discovered this song called Jingle Bells. Um, you might have heard of it, um, but, it's a sp <laughs> but it's a particular version done by Barbara Streisand. And I, I don't remember how it started. So it was, it like came on one day when, was it at Progressive Dinner? It came on one day at Progressive Dinner and it's like the craziest version of Jingle Bells you've ever heard. But Megan thought it was so funny. So every year since then we've had to play it and it's just, it's amazing. It's still funny. So you'll probably see a clip it's, of that. It's still funny. It is still funny. After progressive dinner is Christmas Eve. So on Christmas Eve for my whole life, and probably much before that, uh, we go... Which was also my whole life. Right, because he's younger. You're just so good with math. I'm, I'm, you know, so good. 25 is more than 23. Leave a comment below if you agree. <laughs> That's a throwback to Ashley Wood, just by yeah. the way. <laughs> right. Love shout you, out, Ashley. Shout out to Ashley. <laughs> so we go to my grandmother's house for Christmas Eve dinner, and that is my whole extended family. So we've got the aunts and the uncles and the cousins mm -hmm. and just, like, everybody like 30 is 30-some-odd people. So whatever. this year we're having 24 uh, people, but it's it's kind of ebbed and flowed through the years depending on who's working because as like our generation has grown up we've and started to have friends and girlfriends yeah significant others and all these things it's ebbed and flowed but uh for the most part like everybody gets to come and it's just so much fun and we like pack into this house and then we pack into the christmas room which, which is you, so cold it's so cold but you Ugh. only get to go in there on christmas there's right. a christmas tree set up there year round yep. <laughs> and you, it's you red. go in it's and, red furniture and yeah beige and it's it's Christmas. It's it's like Christmas. You walk in there in the middle of July. It's Christmas. Yeah. It's Christmas time. Yeah, Let's like go. you. It is a portal to Christmas time. And I I just remember so vividly, and it probably wasn't this way 
but I remember going in when I was a kid and it felt like half of the room was covered with presents. Like you had a little tree in the corner, yes. but like and all, all the presents, the presents came presents. out from the tree. Yeah. It was awesome yep. and it just felt like it would never end. It was so that was, cool. that was a nice time back because we actually like got all the presents back then and now the, all the little kids get the presents. So it's like the paradigm has shifted. Right, because reasonably... Our family decided that once you turn 18, you no longer get Who presents. said it was reasonable? I love presents. People giving me things. Warms my heart. It warms your warms heart. Warms my heart. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so it's a big extravaganza. All of the kids get to open their presents. It becomes this, I don't, like, chaos. Really, it's chaos. There's, there's paper flying everywhere and kids screaming about kids, the way yeah. that they get. <laughs> Definitely one of my favorite things that we've done consistently on Christmas through my entire life. So, you know that oh every God. year on Christmas Eve, oh. you get to open one present before you go to sleep. I say it like this because my entire life I've had this speech given to me word for and word. Never, ever mother. will our mother admit that we understand that this is going to happen every Christmas Eve. It's like it's the surprise. Remember there she's saying it in her head, I don't know what they're talking about because yeah. that's what she says every time. I, don't know I have no idea what you're talking about. No idea. Until she's ready to know what we're talking she about. She can be holding the present in her hand. I don't know what I don't this know. is. What this is, is, a pre what Who what is this, this magical thing that appears? Oh, it's pajamas? Oh my God. What? So, it's pajamas. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> every year we would get to open one present. I have 23 pairs of pajamas. Well, I don't anymore. I've given some away. <laughs> he still wears the pajamas. I still wear the pajamas I made when I was five. You're really good at staying on topic. I don't do. You're just as good this as one. This isn't what I do. Like I'm, I'm a technician at Staples. I was like when I was recording with Lana and Elise, and I'm like, please come back and have some sort of semblance of structure to this video. So we get pajamas for Christmas Eve. It's the one thing that we get to open from. Um, uh, and of course, we have to put them on and show them. We take a picture. We parade them downstairs, take a picture, and then it is time for bed. And then. Well, it's time to go to bed. Especially when we were young. We pretended to go to bed. Yeah. And we and stayed up for hours because we were so excited. But now it's just like, hey, I'm going to get on my computer for a couple hours. <laughs> and then, the, oh, I might go to sleep. I might just stay up. The big thing that I remember <laughs> is. You had to keep your door closed. Yeah. And when I was younger, I didn't like to have my door closed. And I was, like, really terrified about having my door closed. Now I can't sleep with the door open. Right. I'm like, give me all the darkness. I, I don't want any of the light. All the darkness yeah. now. <laughs> Probably my favorite thing that we ever did was in the morning when you wake up, you sit at the top of the stairs. And we don't do that really. We kind of, we no. do it a little bit. We, eh. Not last year, we didn't. We it just kind of came down. Yeah. We it used to be a thing, like there were stockings on the banister and all of these things. And, and what mom... happened to stop stocking our stuffings, Mom? What happens to stocking your stuffings? We don't get that anymore. We just get these, a couple, pra like, we don't get stocking stuffers anymore. Jeez, Mom. Jeez, Mom. Mom. Get us more presents. Mom would have to come down. Sometimes you would set up the video camera. Uh, and all of the things would have to be ready after we woke them up, and we would all sit at the top of the stairs. It would be me and Matt and Luke and Josh, and then sometimes, so for a little bit of time, Luke lived downstairs, but he would still come upstairs and sit with us, and I don't know, I just, I just remember, like, that couple minutes of anticipation that felt like an hour, and sometimes, I think, did any of us actually sleep at the top of the stairs I remember, time? do you remember this one time, I was younger, I, and I slept at the top of the stairs, and Pop was... Pop was mad because I was sleeping with this big lion stuffed animal that I had. And I was just sleeping right at the top of the stairs. And he woke me up and he was like, go to bed. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I was literally sleeping there. And it was just so exciting. And that was the thing. Like, that was the place where you sat and you were like, it's Christmas. So we're going to get to open <laughs> And then they would presents. take our picture on the stairwell. Yeah. yeah. Then we would come downstairs when we were told it was cool and mm. do the present thing. Christmas morning is pretty typical. My mom would always come back at some point to see what we got. Most likely she'll do it again in a couple days. Yeah, yeah I mean, she still will. <laughs> she She's will. always done that. That's yeah. one thing that stayed consistent. So one thing that's relatively new in the past couple years since we've had nieces and nephews is that uh, sometimes we will go to their houses on Christmas morning and do the mom thing, but like for them, we'll go and see what they got for Christmas and let them, you know, show us 
what their Christmas is Because mom like. is now a grandmother, so she feels like, I'm going to follow my mother's footsteps. Yeah. I mean, it's a fun thing. Yeah. I think that's one thing that's changed for me here's so the, Here's much. one of the big things that's changed. We now have flesh-colored snowmen on our wrapping oh, paper. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're impossible. <laughs> So I think that's one thing that has changed for me over Christmas growing up is that <laughs> I have flesh colored snowmen. No, it is that I like to, I really, really, really enjoy watching the kids get gifts and mm -hmm. like that is my favorite thing and I love, I, that's one thing I really love to do is go and children, see. Young children with unabated joy is one of the best things to yeah. see in your life. It's, I think that's what it is. Yeah, you know, they're just so happy. They're happy and they're that like, they're, they have something. Great. And it's yeah. some, like it's little kids that you love, and you mm -hmm. love to see them happy, so yeah. that's cool. One thing that does not happen anymore is that we used to go every Christmas to my aunt's house, and we would all pack in this house. and Double-wide trailer. Yeah, and we would an have extension on it. this dinner, <laughs> and it was like the best ham. I love, oh. you know, ham dinner for Christmas. Oh. It was so good. All the pretzel salad mm. and all this stuff. It was just... But we all, we sat in like, I don't know, less than a, you know probably 800 square feet of tables and people yeah. to eat dinner and it was in living rooms and dinner and in a dining room and a kitchen and it was yeah, yeah. It was yeah just, we definitely it was a feeling of intimate it. family i mean it was, <laughs> yeah if you wanted to become close with we your family we were family people this was not like you wouldn't do this with like coworkers like this is we were family <laughs> yeah you were you, we were close it was good might be illegal in some states maybe um but it was delaware <laughs> Yes, <laughs> yes you can. It's Delaware. It's not the right. We're in Delaware. Hi, we're in Delaware. Hey, I mean, we're it's, in Delaware. It's Delaware, Delaware is Delaware. Yeah. So I think that pretty much covers it. So that's Christmas at the Ryan household. And this Christmas will be a very special Christmas. No, the song is tomorrow. The song is tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out and helping me explain and thanks, just really for, derailing the video. Thanks for coming to the place that I live Yeah. for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any specific traditions that you... Comment below like, and let us know about your traditions in the comment section below. <laughs> that. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye, Internet. See y'all later. Have a happy holiday. Merry Christmas. Ready to celebrate Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Yeah, everything. Or if you don't celebrate anything. Or if you don't celebrate anything. Enjoy. Enjoy your, your time. time. <laughs> <laughs> Appropriate. Appropriate.